Hi, I'm Kathy and welcome to my kitchen. We are at the last day of Vlogmas. 24 days of Vlogmas. This was my first year and it's been kind of fun. So um, let's finish this up with something new and I am going to attempt to make some sweet dinner rolls. And what I'm going to do tonight, actually this is kind of a two day thing, Tonight I'm gonna to make the dough and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because I don't want to bake the rolls tonight. I like for them to be fresh for tomorrow. Excuse me one minute. I need to take a toy away from my dog. This is my little culprit. Say hi, Lena. Huh? <laughs> it's my little puggy, Lena. She's our rescue dog. And she was playing with her rubber chicken. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's get back to baking, sweetie. So as I was saying, I'm going to attempt to make some sweet dinner rolls for tomorrow's Christmas dinner. So let's start baking. First, we're gonna start with one cup of whole milk. Put this in the bowl. And then one egg. And I've had it set out to room temperature. It's a large egg. And we're going to use three tablespoons of honey. Now taking your whisk, just mix this all together. The complete recipe for these rolls will be down in the description below. The next thing this recipe calls for is instant yeast. And I had to go look for this. So you wanna make sure you get instant yeast and not the other kinds. Uh, they have like active yeast and uh, self-rising yeast. <laughs> different things like that, but I finally found it at my Publix grocery store, the Instant Ease. And you wanna get that. Uh, once you open it, you do need to keep it in the refrigerator. And it calls for a two and a quarter teaspoon, and you're just going to pour that in there and mix this. Make sure you get the sides because I see that the little yeast pellets are up on the sides of the bowl, and you want that in the mixture. So make sure you kind of go around the sides of the bowl and get all that back into the liquid. And you want to mix this well to dissolve the yeast. We're going to have Christmas dinner with a few family members and usually I'm the one who's like cooking the meat or cooking the main uh, vegetables. But this time I'm getting off a little easy, I think. Um, they asked me to bring the rolls in the salad. So I'm making a wonderful pomegranate and uh, orange salad. And then I thought, well, you know, why don't I make the rolls from scratch? So this is a first for me, guys. <laughs> I hope it comes out good, because I don't think any of the stores are open tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be having Bisquick Biscuits if this doesn't come out good. After you get this mixed well, you're then going to need three cups of all-purpose flour. And in the flour, you're going to add two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. So go ahead and mix that in with the flour. And then we're just going to mix in the flour a little bit at a time.
And I'm told, don't worry if you think it's dry. Don't be tempted to put more milk or anything in here. Just keep working the dough. And at this point, I think, you start using your hands. And then the recipe calls for one third cup of softened butter. Softened it a little bit. You don't want it all melted, just softened butter. And kind of work it in. because as, as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, there's like areas where there's the chunks of butter and you wanna make sure you work this throughout the dough. So in a sec here, I'm gonna start using my hands again. make this in advance and um, I did look it up and it said that it was okay to let it sit in the fridge overnight and actually it was better for the rolls um, to have more time to to rise and then I can bake it tomorrow and they'll be nice and warm coming out of the oven at dinner time. I have another bowl ready and I'm still gonna work this. I'm gonna use one of my baking mats. <laughs> I got a new one, see? It's a nice big one. Santa brought it to me early. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some flour. used to working more with cookie dough than I am bread dough, but so I don't put any more stuff in it.
do this. working the dough until it gets smooth and elastic is what it calls for. sticky. Is it the silicone mat? Do I need to get rid of this? to the counter too, so I don't know. to kind of like tie it around with oil on the, on the dough ball too. All right, this better be it. All right, we'll plop it in there and we'll cover it with some, some ram wrap and we're gonna put it in the fridge for overnight and we'll make the biscuits tomorrow, or not the biscuits, we'll make the rolls tomorrow and Pray that it all works out. So here we go. Put some saran wrap around the bowl and I'm gonna put this in the fridge and um, you'll just have to wait until tomorrow to see how they come out. But anyways, this has been fun. It's been a challenge. 
Considering it's my first six months of doing a YouTube channel, I've been having a lot of fun. I hope you have enjoyed the cookie recipes and the daily vlogs. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm so close to 100 subscribers and I'd love to get there before the end of the year. And don't forget to subscribe, click on that little bell so you'll be notified of my next video. Have a wonderful Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas. We'll see you sometime this week. I'm sure I'll be on to update you with how these rolls come out. Bye.